What's up guys, it's me Presley. Today, I'm going to be showing you the best way to find diamonds in Minecraft 1.17, the Captain Cliffs update, part one. Guys, this update was released not too long ago, and I saw that nobody's really been talking about how to find diamonds the fastest in this new update, because there have been a few changes in the diamond generation. So guys, today I'm going to be showing you the best ways to find diamonds, and pretty much how to find diamonds within like half an hour of starting a new survival world. So guys, let's go, let's get straight into this. To start off with, we just have, you know, a normal world with some crazy, some, some crazy caves. Oh my God. That's actually some, yep, yeah, caves and cliffs. That's, that's this is what it's all about. <laughs> Okay, so let's go. Let's actually grab a tree first. Let's grab a couple of logs and let's just progress as fast as we can in this update. Okay, guys, so we're just going to be trying our best, you know, progressing through the game as you do in normal survival. And we're not really focusing on speed running or anything like that. We're just focusing on, you know, having a fun time in the game and hopefully finding some of the awesome 1.17 stuff. So this is actually my first ever survival world in the brand new 1.17 update. And I just want to see how well we can go and if we can, like, discover some new caves or maybe the amethyst geodes or even some of, like, the new ores. And I want to see what the new ores look like and everything. So let's go. We've got this boom boom and already we have ourselves a wooden pickaxe easy. Okay, there we go We've got 14 boom pickaxe and Axe no, we only want one axe We do not want two pickaxes and then one furnace easy and then we can go and break this bam Okay, let's go. Let's see if we can go and find iron really fast and It would be amazing if we could like bump into a village or something as well You're kidding me within the first couple of minutes of this episode we have copper. Look at this, yes, we've got raw copper. Okay, that's actually really cool. Is there any more? Okay, there's no more around here. No, there is. There's one more there. And copper is a bit like redstone. It like drops multiple, but not as much as lapis. Lapis drops a lot. Okay, let's just keep going through here. No, okay, there's nothing through here. Let's hopefully find some iron though, so that we can make ourselves an iron pickaxe. Nothing there. Let's head through here. Anything down here? Nope. Oh, but we do have iron. It's the new iron texture. I'm not sure about this new iron texture. I don't know whether I like these new ores or whether I like don't like them. But come on, there's no denying it. It looks like raw rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, raw rabbit. That's what I'm going to call it. That's what the iron looks like. That's what most of the ores look like now. The iron and the gold. The copper, that looks fine. But yeah, the other two, they just looks like weird. Okay, what have we got down here? Oh gee, it's really dark to see, but uh, you, you guys probably can't see it. But I can kind of see the iron that's here. Let's see, is there any coal around though? I really want to see coal. Oh my gosh, there's so much iron down here. There's so much iron, but I need like one, one piece of coal. Is that coal? Or is it stone? No, that's stone. Okay, we know where this little cave system is. We just need some light. So we're gonna have to go and find at least one coal. I just want one, one little coal so we can make a torch and see stuff. It's probably gonna be the first and last time I'll ever look for coal this series. <laughs> and then I climb up a whole mountain just to get it. Here we go, coal. <sighs> Finally, now we can go and grab torches. Gee, all that just for a torch. Oh, come on, there's coal right there. You gotta be kidding me. There's literally coal right there. Okay, here's some more iron though, that's good. I saw that little bit of blue and I'm like, did we just find diamonds? Is that a glitch? Or a Y58, did we just find diamonds? <laughs> I was so shocked. Okay, there we go. More copper. Okay, we're at the top of a random mountain and it is nice. So I think, okay, there's two sheep there. But I think what we should do is actually go and smelt our iron first so that we can make shears, that way we get like more. But let's go, let's just make ourselves a mini little base here. Come on, really a zombie? Buddy, I'm trying, I'm trying to do stuff here. Please stop. There we go. Most people when they first find iron. Okay, I'm gonna grab three and I'm gonna make a pickaxe and then I'll make armor. Me when I find iron. Shears! <laughs> no, don't you dare, don't, don't you dare blow up my sheep. I thought he was about to blow up the sheep, and I'm like, no, you do not. If you do that, you... Really? It blew us up. We're getting attacked by like seven mobs at once. Come on, there's like seven mobs trying to kill me right now. Okay, our first bed. 
boom, 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 boom. Boop. There we go. This seed has some weird terrain generation. We have so much iron, enough to go and make full armor. Let's go boom. And also a shield, because why not? Let's be safe. And let's be honest, <laughs> I'm gonna need the safety. There's gonna be a lot of mobs and a lot of things wanting to kill me this series, so uh, we gotta be as careful as we can be. But we've got six iron ingots, and I'm kind of thinking, should we make two iron pickaxes, or an iron pickaxe and an iron axe? I don't know, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm more so, I think, two. Iron axe and iron pickaxe. Oh my gosh, guys, look, there's a massive cave system here. This is actually really good, guys. So, the first way to find diamonds is really just walking around, you know, walking around your Minecraft world and finding caves like this and then going down and looking for diamonds down there. That's one way, guys. It's not the most efficient, but it definitely works. I looked over here. I totally thought those vines... I totally, 100% thought that they were diamonds, and I was like, you're kidding me, right? Really? Really? Did what? Did we just find diamonds? And guys, if you ever see a lava lake while you're caving, stop and just do this, pretty much. Put water all over it, unless you want to use the lava for whatever reason or collect it, and just check if there's diamonds around, because diamonds tend to spawn around lava. And also, mine out any chunk of ores that you see. Like, all this coal, mine it all out, because a lot of the time, Diamonds spawn near little clumps of like coal and other resources. And also, don't get lost while you're mining. That's that's a bit of a given. I got lost while I'm mining, by the way. I, I don't know where I am. But guys, let's go. I'm gonna head up to the surface, and then I can start showing you guys the best ways to go and get diamonds. Okay guys, we're falling asleep, but let's go. Let me show you the best way to finding diamonds. To start off with, you just wanna have, you know, your base wherever. This is gonna be our base now, by the way. This is... It's not very good, but it is temporary. First, let me show you the things that you're going to want before you go mining. Okay guys, so before you start mining, you want your inventory to look a little bit like this. Uh, about a stack of blocks, just in case something crazy happens, like even before you start mining. It's always good to just have the spare blocks. At least two pickaxes. Like, I'm just finishing off this one and then we'll do these other two guys. You want at least two pickaxes because just crafting them repetitively, it's annoying. Also, you want a shield in case you come across mobs, some food, obviously, and also a few torches. But guys, then you want to find a place where you want to start mining. Uh, just as a basic area, we're just going to start here, guys. Let's start mining here. And you want to mine in just a staircase, a normal staircase. But instead of doing the stairs normally, you want to mine the stairs like one, two, three, four, five. You want to do that like that until you get all the way down to bedrock. And let's go, guys. Let's mine all the way down there. A few moments later. And guys, you want to keep on digging like this. So we've actually been doing it for uh, for quite a while now. Um, we've got quite a deep tunnel. But guys, what you want to do is you want to keep on mining until you get to Y equals 5, guys. And I know for some of you, this might not actually make sense. Let me explain to you what Y equals 5 is. So in Minecraft, you have coordinates. Every single block is a different coordinate. You've got the X value, which is just across the horizon. You've got the Z value, which interlaps with the X axis, so it's like that, but on the floor. And then you've got the Y axis, which is your height. And the Y axis goes all the way down to bedrock, all the way up to infinity. So you can have like Y equals infinity. And guys, the way that you check this is by going and pressing F3 on your keyboard. But if you do have a Mac keyboard like mine, or a keyboard that has a little image where the F3 is meant to be, what you need to do is press FN in the bottom corner, and then F3, and that'll give you this massive thing. And guys, ignore half of this stuff. Most of it is just random stuff. But what you want to do is you want to go and check your block value. So our block value is minus 34, that's our coordinates, and it's 16, and then it's 149, guys. So as you can see, when we jump up and down, that middle number, that's the Y value, that changes. And you want to keep on digging down into that Y value equals six, guys. You want to keep on digging down until it equals six, and we're actually almost there. So guys, we're down at Y equals five, which isn't actually where we want to be. We want to be at Y equals six. And guys, this is where you want to start mining. And usually, if you're on 1.16 or anything before that, you would usually mine at Y equals 11, but because of the new ores and different terrain generation and diamond generation, there's actually a different way that you need to mine. And how you want to mine is just like this at Y equals 5, but every two blocks. So you want to go 1, 2, and then at every third block, 
you want to go and mine up four blocks. And you want to keep on mining like this, guys. Because diamonds spawn from anywhere from y equals zero all the way up to y equals 15, y equals 16. And just normal strip mining, that shows you y equals five to y equals eight. But when you strip mine like this and do the digging up, you actually get access to y equals five all the way up to y equals 13, almost to the top of where diamonds spawn, guys. And if you jump, you can actually do it, but I don't think it's really worth jumping. But you just wanna keep on going like this and then digging up. And guys, Mining in this new update is just so, so annoying. But also, if you ever find dirt or anything, mine out the whole area of dirt. And also, instead of just mining upwards every two blocks, you can go and mine like this for a little bit, and then on your way back, you can go and mine up like this. And guys, this isn't only to go and get diamonds. Look, we just found redstone and gold, just from doing that little trick. Whereas usually, we would have mined straight underneath them. And guys, all of our pickaxes are broken, so probably just take a lot of pickaxes. As many pickaxes as you can craft. Then again, don't. Don't take as many as you can craft. Just take quite a few if you don't have mending or unbreaking on them. And also, a way that I like to mine is just by finding the right position and just having my mouse and my keyboard just in the exact same position, and I just hold down the buttons, and then I go forward. That's just like an easy way for me to do it. That's how I like to do it. But guys, you can like find your own style while you're mining. Okay, and we just mined straight into a cave, so let's just check it out before we head back down. Okay guys, so I just mined and I broke two pickaxes. So we've got two more left. And guys, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna mine the four blocks up every third block now. And guys! We have Diamonds. Here we go guys, I wonder how many there are. So you want five when you're finding your first vein. From there on, it doesn't matter whether it's a one vein or an eight vein. Well, it does matter because you want the eight vein. But guys, is it five? One, two, three, four, five guys, five. Because then you can make an enchanting table and you can make a diamond pickaxe. But guys, let's go one, two, three, four, five. There's actually six diamonds. That's perfect. So guys, make sure to use every single tip that I gave you today to go and find diamonds for yourself. It was so easy finding diamonds, but guys, I'll see you in the next one. Off camera, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of farming and I'll see you guys next episode. Have the best day ever, guys. Peace. Yeah.